Hi, I'm Ankush, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin, Ireland. Today I'm going to show you how you are charged for Amazon Elastic Block Store volume on your bill. Let's get started. With Amazon EBS, you pay for what you provision and additional input output operation per second and throughput beyond baseline performance. Volume storage for all EBS volume types is charged by amount of GB you provision per month until you release the storage. For example, if you provision 100 GB EBS volume per month, then you are billed for 100 GB month of EBS storage. Even if you store only 10 GB of data on that volume, you are billed for 100 GB month of EBS storage. For general purpose SSD GP3 IOPS, Provision IOPS SSD IO2 IOPS and Provision IOPS SSD IO1 volumes, you pay for Provision IOPS beyond baseline performance along with Provision storage. Cost of the EBS volume depends on following factors. AWS region, EBS volume types, EBS volumes that support additional input output operations per second and throughput beyond baseline performance, EBS snapshot storage, snapshot frequency, and amount change per snapshot. Number of Amazon EBS Direct API for snapshots. For example, you pay $0.003 for 1000 get snapshot block API units in the OI region. To lower the amount that you are billed for Amazon EBS storage, you have few options. Option one, create snapshots of any volume that you are not actively using and delete the unused volumes. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console. From the navigation pane, choose Volumes. Select the EBS volume with volume state other than in use. Then from Actions, select Create Snapshot. I'll choose Create Snapshot. After the snapshot is successfully created, Select the EBS volume. From Actions, select Delete Volume. Now choose Delete. Option 2. Delete snapshots that are no longer needed. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 console. From the Navigation pane, choose Snapshots. Select the EBS snapshots that are no longer needed. Then from Actions, select Delete Snapshot. Now choose delete to confirm the deletion. Option three, audit your EBS volume to see if you're using most of the storage in the volume. If you're not using most of your volume storage, then migrate your data to a smaller EBS volume. To audit or view free space on EBS volume, follow these steps. To view free space on an EBS volume attached to Linux operating system, run this command. To view free space on an EBS volume attached to a Linux operating system, run this command. To view free space on an EBS volume attached to a Windows operating system, run this command from Windows command prompt. So now you know how you are charged for Amazon EBS volume on your bill. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.